Okay, in this really quick video, I'm just going to show you how to um, quickly set up Visual Studio so that you can edit HTML projects um, and be able to like open them in the browser easily, like you can in Notepad++. So the first thing we need to do is open a project. So I'm going to go File, Open Folder. Um, and navigate to the folder I want. So I'm going to get my uh, breakout game. <coughs> and I get a similar window to what I get in Notepad. Um, you get the file window. You can create files here. These are your folders. Um, you can see they've got them open. Um, but one thing that you can do in Notepad++ plus, plus is it when you're on the web page you can uh, open a browser and that's not by default um, straightforward to do but one of the great things about Visual Studio Code is the plugin system so this little Tetris block um, down here is the extensions and you can see um, when you're on extensions if there are some that are default installed um, and it gives you that recommended one down at the bottom uh, you can see which ones you've actually got. I've got quite a few because I do different bits and bobs uh, in this. Um, but one that you, for the web stuff, that you ought to have, and all you've got to do is search for it in the extension window. You can just say open in browser. Okay, and there's a couple of different ones. Uh, and one of the nice things um, you can do is you can just click on these and you get information about how many people have installed it, ratings and all that sort of stuff. Um, you know, the, the one that I tend to use is this one. There's probably better ones, um, but I tend to use this one with about 2 million downloads. Um, and all you got to do, and I'll show you the difference. So when I'm in the file list, if I right click, I can't open it in a browser. But by installing this extension, opening browser, so I'm going to do this one, this tech ER one. Um, and it's pretty instant. There's no like restarting your machine or anything. So if I go back to the file browser, and you can see that that extension window is open, so you can close that if you want. If I go back to the file browser and right click over breakout page, you can see it lets me either open in my default browser. Remember, we need Chrome and Firefox for this. Um, or you can get a pick of what you've got installed. Um, and then what you'll find is it opens it up again from the monitor. Uh, and then you can do that any time. But like I say, one of the, the easier way of doing this is that once you've got it open like that, if you go back to VS Code or Notepad++, if you make any changes, make sure you save everything. There is no compilation as such. So all you've got to do is refresh and then it'll load the latest version. So you don't have to keep opening it in a browser. Uh, once you've got it open once, you can just refresh after you've done your edits. Uh, as long as you remember to edit everything. You get a little, um, if you make a change to something, I'll just show you. I'll just type in there. You get a little dot on the tab, but you actually get this to tell you that you've got unsaved changes. And it, it, if you float over, whenever you've got any issues or things, you think, oh, I'll just float over, what is it? And it says one unsaved file. Okay, so, oh, wants me to update something. That's how you work with the HTML in VS Code. It's quite nice, quite straightforward.